presentation, I'm going to break down the art course content for you, and hopefully this will explain what our talented art students do here at Crossy Kaliog School within our department. The GCSE qualification in art is awarded to students when they complete the two units of work. Unit one, as you can see, is coursework and it starts at the beginning of year 10. The art and design coursework element is delivered through year 10 and 11, and the course is designed to give students the opportunity to explore a wide range of skills, both new and old, in 2D and 3D techniques. This allows each student to decide what their strengths are, and they have a choice to focus on these skills in year 11. So this allows each student to create a more bespoke portfolio of their own choice. In year 11, we may have students who prefer a more sculptural approach to work, and others who prefer perhaps painting or even printmaking skills. Students will create a coursework portfolio of sketchbooks and outcomes. This equates to 60% of their final grade. Unit 2 is the WJEC Externally Set Exam Project, which is started in January when children are presented with an examination paper. They have to choose a question and create a project from that question. This is completed during April for marking and moderating by the WJC exam board. There are four years of assessment which our students at Key Stage 3 are already familiar with. The following slides will attempt to show you samples of work that can be created. Assessment Objective 1 is developing ideas through invest investigating other artists' work. This is a, a skill they've already learnt in Key Stage 3 and extended further at Key Stage 4. As you can see here, students explore and debate their opinions about other artists' work in their sketchbooks. And they can then create some interesting outcomes. AO2 is all about creative making and developing ideas through experimentation with different artistic skills and techniques, as you can see in these samples of work. Assessment Objective 3 is all about recording your ideas by drawing them, taking photographs and annotating, writing about your ideas. Assessment Objective 4 is realising your ideas by creating final outcomes which also connect with the artists in some way or form. This, as you can see, is an overview of the elements within the assessment objective areas. All of our GCSE students will complete work in their sketchbooks. We feel they're an integral part of gaining marks for all of the assessment objectives. And outcomes are final compositions, such as final sculptures, final lino prints, final paintings, and even final photographs. We think it's vital to expand students' knowledge and appreciation of art by seeing works of art in the flesh, so to speak, and we hope to continue to offer gallery visits to places like London, Liverpool, Manchester, and locally in Cumbran and Cardiff. And as a department, we encourage our pupils to showcase their work at GCSE, uh, involving themselves in competitions and exhibitions with much success, as you can see the slide demonstrates here. Students and um, parents alike often ask us, uh, what can I do with my art skills? Where is it going to help me lead into my career? And I'm sure that you can see uh, that everything that surrounds us in the modern world has a creative process around it. There's a huge amount of careers out there to be, to be grabbed by every student. This concludes my presentation, but if you have any further questions uh, you wish to ask me, please contact me at uh, Crossy Kyle uh, within the art department. Thank you for listening.